The National Multiple Sclerosis Society is a driving force of MS research, relentlessly pursuing prevention, treatment, and cure for more than 2.5 million people living with MS worldwide. The National MS Society is a collective of passionate individuals committed to doing something about MS now, funding more research than any other MS organization in the world. The understanding of MS today is just so dramatically different than it was even 10 years ago. Uh, I can still remember seeing MS patients when I was a resident. In fact, we didn't understand the disease very well and we certainly had absolutely no treatments. Uh, today it's just a completely different situation. We've actually seen new treatments for MS patients in the last 15 years, FDA approved treatments. I think we're going to be developing new types of therapies and I think we're going to understand the disease better to find out why some people respond and why some people don't. I think without the society's supportive research, there wouldn't be treatments for MS patients. We wouldn't have the MRI imaging that we have to follow them, and there wouldn't be the hope that now exists. The MS Society put a lot of money and time into understanding the immune mechanisms for MS about 15 to 20 years ago, and this led to the uh, ideas that eventually turned into treatments that we now have. So the research program in the MS Society, I believe, is probably one of the best, and I think it has a couple of characteristics. I think the one is that the peer review process is stringent and fair, extraordinarily well done. The Society has always approached issues, I think, without bias, and so they fund research, I think, based on merit. The National MS Society actually has done a number of very groundbreaking initiatives in setting funding priorities really for MS research. I think that the MS Society more than any other organization will be the centerpiece of our future MS research efforts. Without the MS Society, I think prospects would be bleak indeed for the cures, the preventions, and the new treatments that we all so desperately hope for. The Society doesn't just fund research. We fuel research by adhering to three core principles, innovation, collaboration, and speed. I think we're entering into a new era uh, of research in understanding MS, and as we apply these new technologies and apply it to understanding the disease. I think the National MS Society is extremely important to foster bringing in the best and the brightest minds to the field of MS. The MS Society has moved research forward in really creative ways in how they have distributed those funds. And they have really very carefully looked at the needs in the community. For example, they fund postdoctoral fellowships. So they fund people at the very earliest stages of their careers where they're still making decisions about what to do research on. There's a new attitude that now permeates science. We used to work in our bins, focusing on one problem at a time. But with support of the MS Society, we're now working together as groups to try to attack these very difficult problems. There's a time for small grants focused by one investigator. And there's a time for larger grants where multiple groups work together. And the MS Society is furthering both approaches. The MS Society joined with the National Institutes of Health. This funding brought in people from outside the field as well as those within the MS field to come together and to think about this in a unique way with unique expertise. The MS Society nucleated or formed the first genetic consortium effort. Thanks to the Society's efforts, we've been able to expand the consortium to involve additional groups across the United States and Europe coming together in a common effort to understand the genetic cause of MS. And that by bringing together investigators who are expert in imaging, genetics, epidemiology, and clinical care of people with MS, the prospects are bright indeed for major advances in the next five years. If one takes the whole big picture of where we are 30 years ago and where we are today, tremendous progress has been made. I think we'll have improved therapies in, in five to 10 years. We'll have new ways to actually monitor MS. We're really at the brink of some very important genetic studies. And those genetic studies, I think, are gonna really tell us a lot. 
For those people, I think, living with MS, the society-funded research has changed their lives, really, in that there have been new treatments found. Our mission is to keep research toward a cure moving forward faster than ever. I've actually seen uh, some of the impact actually at the patient level for some of these targeted initiatives. The patients and their families are really excited about this and they actually come up and thank me for the kind of research that we do so that someone is actually paying attention to that aspect of MS because it's something they can really identify with. One of the things about MS that we've learned is how complex of a disease it is and I think that the MS Society is helping us unwrap that complexity. There's no easy answer, but the answers are there and we've got to find them. You can help people living with MS move their lives forward to help deliver on the promise of a world free of multiple sclerosis. Join us.